If you were fortunate enough to live in a place where there are fireflies, you might have wondered, how in the world can they create that much light? Well, the answer is bioluminescence. When you turn on a light in your room, you're most likely using incandescence to light up that room. Light is generated by a filament being heated up and emitting light as well as a ton of heat. This makes the common light bulb very inefficient at creating light because it has to heat up a filament before it can produce photons of light. There are some land animals and even more sea creatures that create their own light through luminescence. Luminescence is a chemical reaction that releases a negligible amount of heat, making it an extremely efficient source of light. This is similar to a chemical reaction in glow sticks. Luminescence involves a light-emitting substance known as luciferin and an enzyme called luciferase. Luciferin reacts with ATP, the energy source of the cell, to create a new compound. This compound reacts with luciferase, which adds on an oxygen, creating a new compound that decays quickly, emitting a photon of light. Variations in the shape of the luciferase enzyme can affect the way we perceive the photon of light that is emitted from the decay of this compound. Scientists only know a little bit about the mystery of bioluminescence, and it is still not well understood how some animals can control their light-emitting properties. A species known as the bobtail squid has a symbiotic relationship with a bioluminescent bacteria known as Vibrio fischeri. Vibrio fischeri lives inside the squid in a specialized organ. In return for food and shelter, these bacteria produce light for the squid whenever it needs it. The squid could be activating these specialized organs through a neural impulse, but we still have yet to find that out. And yet again, there is another mystery in biology waiting to be solved. If you learned something new, please like this video and share it with your friends. And if you're eager for more biology information, please subscribe. Again, thanks for watching.